Hello, penis! Hi, I'm Kat and I love my Instant Pot, which is why I want to keep them happy. Now we were sitting around one day thinking, hmm, what would be a great comfort food dish? Chilaquiles would be great. I wanted to get a little bit wild and wacky, so I thought chicken, but no, we had to go with Instant Pot's favorite, boring, boring old favorite, bull penis. work with bull penis, you're in for a treat. It's not that hard, but you have to be a little bit sensitive about what you're doing here. First thing you want to do is slice it open. You can use a knife, but also I like to just go right up the center with some scissors. You just want to get in there and get some of that tough outer skin off, or else your penis is not going to be as tender and delicious as you want. So much skin. Look how stretchy that extra skin is. It's like maybe it was bigger at some point. Wow. If you're looking to buy bull penis, it's usually sold under the name bull pizzle. So you can buy them by the sack full. You just want to make sure that everybody gets enough penis, maybe about one per person. Though I don't know your life. Some people like to blanch them, to plunge them into hot boiling water, and then shock them in, uh, in ice. I'm not into that. It's fine if you are. You also just can't go plopping chunks of penis into a pot. It gets stiff, it gets tough, and no one wants that. Yeah, they do. Now you can't get too cocky when you're working with bull penis. You'll just cut into the wrong place, so you really have to go, go slowly, go tenderly. And you wanna get some chunks like this. It's got some nice spongy meat in there, and it's gonna be just delicious. Now that we've removed the urethras and the excess skin and cut these bull penises into delicious bite-sized chunks, it's time to cook them down. We're gonna be making a simple salsa verde with kumquats, because kumquats are delicious. And absolutely, for no other reason do we include kumquats. Yeah. We're just gonna dump everything into the pot. Penises first, tomatillos. Kumquats, hot chilies, also chosen for no reason at all. Onions, various spices, salt, <laughs> bay leaf, stir that all up. Add a little bit of chicken stock and it's just gonna get nice and penisy. We're gonna cook those penises at high pressure for about 30 minutes and go. Bull penis! <laughs> it's time for penis quiles. I'm gonna perform a manual release on Instant Pot. Let's see how it goes. It smells really penisy in here. Here we go. Oh, that's so nice and penisy. They've shrunk considerably. They curl up a little bit. <laughs> We're just gonna cook it down a little bit longer. Get those penises really soft and sloppy. I made sure when I was cutting up the kumquats to uh, de-seed them because you don't want a lot of seeds shooting through your penis chelates. When it cooks down a little bit more, we'll add the chips. These chips, luckily for me, are grain free. As we all know, I'm a broken human with a broken stomach and so I've found these lovely seed-based chips and also, because I am broken, we're going to substitute in this fantastic egg tofu in for the cheese that you really, truly want and somehow cannot have. You know, I don't know why I was so resistant to this. I was glad that Instant Pot held firm. I go in and out and in and out of love with these penis quiles all the time. It's time to add the chips. What we're looking to do is get these chips nice and soggy with the penis quiles gravy. It'll be delicious plate of food that we're gonna top with some egg. You can't have really good penis quiles without egg. I mean, you can. I just haven't been to that party myself. Oh, here we go. Finish it off with a little lime. Cut up some flowering chives. You can't have cheese like I can't have cheese. You can have a sad egg tofu and it's tell yourself that everything's fine. Some cilantro. And it doesn't come any easier than that. Penis chilaquiles. Penis chilaquiles!